Hello students, in previous video we have completed lesson 11 and now today we will start uh, with the exercise of this lesson and first question is fill in the blanks. The earth is sometimes known as the dash planet as we have learned that the three-fourth of the earth's surface is covered with water and we when we see the earth from far off the space then it seems to be blue and green in color so uh color is blue hota hai. so the earth is sometimes known as the blue planet so earth is sometimes known as the blue planet the earth completes one rotation about its axis in dash hours so we have learned two types of movement of earth that is rotation and revolution so rotation that means when it come uh, so the earth completes one rotation about it axis apne axis pe one rotation wo kitne hours mein complete karti hai so you know that uh, it complete one rotation in 24 hours because hamara one day jo hai wo 24 hours ka hota hai and jab complete one rotation hota hai earth ka so usme one day hamara complete ho jata hai the main members of the solar system are the sun and the dash planets so in our solar system how many planets are there you know there are eight planets how many planets are there eight planets the sun is a huge source of dash and dash so sun gives us heat and light so it is a huge source of heat and light energy heat and light energy so day and night occur on earth due to its dash about its own axis so day and night hamara jo uh, hota hai earth pe, wo kis ki se hota hai? so that is due to the rotation of earth on its own axis apne axis mein jab wo rotate karti hai so uh, that uh, due to that day and night occurs and jo revolution hai usse kya hota hai hamare seasons change hote hai so day and night occurs on earth due to its rotation about its own axis so isko aap dobara se dhyan se isko revise karenge rotation and revolution the difference between these two rotation means apne axis pe rotate karna aur revolution means jo sun ke charo aur ek round kaatti hai that is revolution now match the following the ringed planet, the largest planet, the natural satellite, the windy planet, the smallest planet. One column mein ye hai and, and the other column, the names of the planets are given. So we have to match them. First of all, the ringed planet. So which one is the ringed planet out of these planets? On se planet ke side mein ring hai? So we have learned that Saturn has a ring around it so it is also called the ringed planet then the largest planet so you know which is the largest planet out of uh, the eight planets so mercury neptune jupiter moon so jupiter is the largest planet of our solar system a natural satellite so you know there is only one natural satellite of earth and that is moon moon is the natural satellite of earth there are two types of satellites natural and artificial satellites so in previous video we have discussed about them so there is one natural satellite of earth that is moon the windy planet so windy planet uh, we have learned that Neptune is a windy planet. Neptune is a windy planet. 
and the last one is the smallest planet so you know that mercury is the smallest and also nearest to the sun so mercury is the smallest planet so learn it ring planet is saturn largest planet is jupiter natural satellite is moon windy planet is neptune and the smallest planet is mercury now multiple choice question tick the correct option the number of planets in our solar system is so how many planets are there in our solar system we have already done in the phillips there are eight planets in our solar system the planet which reflects large amount of sunlight falling on it is so uh, we have learned in the lesson that venus has a very thick atmosphere and it reflect large amount of sunlight that is falling on it and due to it uh, it is the brightest planet of our solar system so ye brightest planet bhi hai hamare solar system ka aur ye large amount of sunlight jo uske upar fall karti hai usko reflect bhi karta hai so venus is the correct option next the planet uranus is also known as a windy planet terrestrial planet jovian planet or a red planet so we have learned that windy planet abhi humne discuss kiya tha upar matchups mein windy planet kaun sa hai hamara neptune terrestrial planets what are terrestrial planets the first four planets uh jo kisse bane hain rock se so us metal and rock se so usko hum unko hum bolte hain terrestrial planets but uranus is not the first uh, comes in the first four planets first four planets ho gaya mercury venus earth and mars so ye four planets ko hum bolte hain terrestrial planets and jovian planet so what are jovian planets the next four planets jo last ke four hai hamare those are jovian planets and last one is your red planet so we have learned that uh, mars is also called the red planet mars ko hum red planet bolte hain so out of these four which one is the correct option jovian planet because uranus hamare jo last four planets hain unme aata hai so that is a jovian planet now the next one the correct statement about the atmosphere of the planet named in it is venus has mostly carbon dioxide around it jo venus hai uske uh, atmosphere mein mostly kya hai carbon dioxide next mercury has mostly nitrogen around it saturn has mostly helium around it earth has mostly ozone around it so out of these four statements which one is correct out of these four statements which one is correct so uh, earth has mostly ozone around it so yes our uh, earth ke atmosphere mein ozone layer bhi hai so uh, this statement is correct earth has mostly ozone around it next is the fourth and the sixth planet fourth and the sixth planets of the solar system are respective so we have learned uh, the planets unka jo proper order hai unka increasing distance ke according so we have learned so if you have to uh, tick the fourth and the sixth planet of the solar system so first uh, fourth one is uh, first is mercury then venus earth and mars so the fourth planet hai that is mars and the sixth planet aap usko dekhenge aap kaun sa hai that is uh, jupiter and then saturn so saturn is the sixth planet sixth planet So, अगर हम इनको ऑर्डर में करेंगे मर्करी वीनस अर्थ मार्स मार्स फोर्थ पे आगे देन जुपिटर एंड देन सेटर्न तो मार्स एंड सेटर्न आर द फोर्थ एंड द सिक्स प्लैनेट ऑफ द सोलर सिस्टम सो मार्स एंड सेटर्न 
are the fourth and the sixth planet. And last one, uh, sorry, sixth one. Consider the following statement about the Earth's moon. So, in this case, a concept or statement hai, that is correct. Uh, the moon is Earth's natural satellite. Yes, moon is Earth's natural satellite. We can see full moon after every 15 days. The moon is a lumin non-luminous object. Yes, a moon is a non-luminous object. The moon takes nearly 18 days to complete one revolution around the Earth. So Earth ke charo or wo 18 days mein apna revolution complete karte. Now the question is the statements that are correct are the statements. So out of these four statements, which is correct? Which are correct? So first A and B. A is the moon is Earth's natural satellite. So yes, Earth is moon's natural satellite. Second, we can see full moon after every 15 days. So every 15 days ke baad hume full moon exactly nahi dikhta hai. Kari bar zada kam bhi ho jata hai. So uh, next, this is not correct. Next is uh, B and D. B is we can see full moon after every 15 days. And D is the moon takes nearly 18 days to complete one revolution around the earth. So this statement is also false because uh, moon takes nearly 28 days to complete one revolution. So this statement is also incorrect. Next is B and C. So B is uh, false and C is the moon is a non-luminous object. This is correct, but this is not correct. And the last one, uh, A and C is the moon is Earth's natural satellite. Moon, Earth's natural satellite. Yes, it is correct. And C is the moon is a non-luminous object. This is also correct. So our D uh, option is correct. Next is the first Indian satellite is... So in uh, last video, uh, we have learned that the first Indian satellite is Aryabhat. So this is the correct answer. So we have completed the exercise. In next video, we will discuss the question answers of this lesson. Thank you.